the Joe Biden campaign is literally falling apart. I don't know if you saw this, but Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe, Joe Biden, old no malarkey Joe, he decided that since Donald Trump is doing this airport whistle stop tour, you know, where he's getting on this big supersonic jumbo jet Air Force One, totally tricked out modern, flying here, flying there, landing at airports, packing the places with thousands and thousands of followers. Joe Biden thought, well, since Donald Trump can do that, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do something a lot cooler. I'm going to get on Amtrak. I'm going to get on the train because back when I was a little boy, there were no planes. You know, we, we, I, we, back when I was a kid, we had to take the train everywhere. And I remember Wilbur and Orville Wright, the, my, buddies from, uh, my buddies from Ohio, they, were, they had this crazy notion to fly and dadgummit, they figured it out. And now I didn't swear. So he gets on this Amtrak tour and he's standing there at the station in Ohio because he didn't go home first. And he's going he's gonna to get on a train. Which, which, who rides? Who rides the train by choice? I never, I didn't. I, I always thought you read, rode the train out of desperation. Like the last time I rode the train, I was in college. I needed to go somewhere. I didn't have a car, and I couldn't afford a. Uh, I couldn't afford an airline ticket. So for thirty dollars, I was able to take an overnight train trip to wherever the hell I was going. It was awful. I got off. I smelled. I was. I hadn't showered. It was gross. But uh, I thought the train was like you know you do it when you're desperate, not when you're running for president. Although maybe maybe Joe Biden's both. Anyway, he gets up there and he's at the Amtrak station and he's, he's giving this speech and he has this podium that they put together and there's a placard on the podium that says, build back better. Well, whoever built the podium forgot to build the podium back better because right in the middle of Joe Biden's speech, right in the middle of his speech, his, uh, his sign on his little podium falls right off. Remember what he <laughs> and said? you can see. You said it, Tiffany. He said, don't move. Yeah, don't move. Don't sell your house because no Ohio factory will shut down. And then all of a sudden, Donald boom. Trump's America. The, yeah, this, this thing. Yeah, and he fair, doesn't know. Fair share, Joe worry. Biden doesn't know. So he just keeps talking. He's, he's talking about Trump and his fair share. Meanwhile, his Build Back Better sign has, has, has just fallen to the ground. And the best part is if you zoom in, <laughs> if you zoom in real quick, <laughs> if you zoom in real quick, the back of the sign was stuck to the podium with duct tape. Someone got, grabbed a roll of duct tape and, you know, took a long piece and then doubled it over. And so it was two sided almost and stuck eight of those on this sign, stuck the sign on the podium. And right there in the middle of his speech, his build back better sign came down. So in Joe Biden's America, building back better means duct taping something <laughs> so that it hopefully sticks. I mean, that's my philosophy. Like duct tape is the, is the cure all, you know, if, if something's, if something falls out, like when a, when the door handle falls off the drawer, you just duct tape it. Glasses break, just get a little duct tape, put that around there. But Joe Biden is literally telling everybody we need to build back better. And his build, build back better sign is built with duct tape. That's probably the most Joe Biden. I'd be shocked if his sign didn't fall off of his podium, to be perfectly honest with you.